The land of Numbra is a place of its own. A land where the sun never rises. A land of eternal night. For hundreds of years, we have been ignored by the rest of the world, left to slumber alone in the shadows. Our homeland is harsh and unforgiving. Only the strongest survive, while the weak get crushed. Even so, that didn't stop the Kamloops, a small and pitiful nation, from migrating here. Weary of the everlasting wars waged by their neighboring nations, the Kamloops left everything behind. Everything but a foolish hope for better days. On their quest for peace and tranquility, they sought shelter in perilous Numbra. There they would find haven in the perpetual darkness that shrouded their new home. Or so they thought, for a new threat now loomed. One that could not only engulf the Kamloops, but also plunge all of Numbra into oblivion. Here. Who is this young fellow? Let's watch from afar. It's as if the fireflies are trying to lead him somewhere. I wonder where. seems troublesome. Huh. I would sooner be away from him. A memory shard reciting Paddlewood's journey. The man who discovered Numbra centuries ago. Something vile has happened here. I've never seen such crystals in number before. The boy should be cautious. Run, run, run! to react to the boy's presence. Wait, what's happening?
He's back? And here I thought I was rid of him. Go down there. Never mind. me into this. I never imagined that, in my ripe old age, I would leave my exile to become once again involved in the affairs of Numbra. I, Strix, the last night owl, saving a foolish child. Ha, the boy claimed to have no recollection of his past or how he got here. He couldn't even remember his name. I had no choice but to take him to the nearest village, hoping that would be the end of it. Let's get going. These old bones can't carry you all the way. How odd. The village looks deserted. I remember this place being occupied by the Kamloops. Does this place ring a bell, boy? Are my eyes deceiving me? Or is this poor fellow trapped inside that crystal? There's not much we can do for him now. What a mess! The way is blocked.
since you seem to have lost your tongue, I might as well give you a history lesson. The Kamloops worship five divinities called celestial gods. Obviously, they didn't seem to be much of use here. Over here! This is Spherus, Dame Nature. She is one of the five divinities I was telling you about. Too kind and gentle for my taste. Looks like you're trapped on the other... Ah! You reckless fool! Another villager. Free him at what? He... vanished. This is Orlog, the Timeless One. Although I fear he has grown senile over the years.
This is Shin, the wrath of the elements, always parading around with his twin blades. Much ado about nothing. My own talons are much sharper. Look at this! Apparently, some people weren't fond of Knox, the Shadow Trickster. Can't blame them. I've heard countless stories of his annoying antics. Fool, don't let them bully you around like that. What are you doing, hmm? This box of yours seems to have a special connection with Luxana. I fear the worst for our land. Seeking out Luxana is probably our best course of action. Surely she knows what's going on. What had become of the once quiet and sleepy Numbra? The entire landscape was littered with ominous crystals, and a whole village had gone missing. As we headed to the Lost Lagoon, I couldn't help but wonder, did I imagine it? Or did the boy truly seem to recognize Luxana's statue? Maybe finding her would be the key to unlocking both his past and the truth about what was happening to Numbra. <laughs> 